keep it low so it's not top heavy. Got an old trusty here. We're gonna go slow and load these things up. All right, there we go. So this chicken pen, it is, uh, yeah, she's been a doozy. We're just simply going to dump all this over here. Yeah, this is well, loading concrete or not, it might be wore out. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're weaving wire through to hold these together because we got like four, four rolls. And then just hang on and I'll, or maybe I'll put it up front, kind of, now at the end we'll kind of do an overview of the whole thing. And then another video when it's complete. Let's see how it's weaved through. Uh, like weaving a grass basket. Yeah. That cuts your fingers. That cuts your fingers. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty awesome chicken pen. It ain't the prettiest, but we didn't care. So we use timbers, the uh, landscaping timbers. You know, five dollars a piece. You can't beat that. We put them in the ground about a foot, foot and a half or so, because they are eight footers. Yeah, and uh, well, you can see. So, so much of this was built with scrap. If you look real, 
real good you can tell but this is three-quarter inch OSB tongue and groove flooring this is a regular half inch sheet of OSB but it's just stuff that we had sitting around everything's pressure treated except for one or two pieces uh, yeah so you can see how we did this this was all scrap and this was all scrap as well so two by six pressure treated this is not pressure treated the two by four but you know it doesn't matter it's up there it's under the plastic roof that's an awesome roof uh we're gonna side the outside with soffit and i put a piece up here that's because it's what we have we got the soffit for free and uh yeah all right so them are the rocks i've been putting down and that's just to deter oh look there's some chickens out yonder and so we started out with about 42 chickens and we're down to four all right and so a dog came through, or maybe two dogs, looks like, and just annihilated all of them in one night. Actually, one morning. And so this pen is needed something terrible. Yeah. We'll cover all that with siding. And you know, it'll have that, uh, I forget what it's called, but that's what it'll look like. Going up and down, it'll be fine. We'll wash it up, clean it up. Anyway, folks, that is it for this little segment. Hi. You can see we got the little roosting places for them to roost. Now, in the winter time. Uh, when it starts to get cold and cold and rainy, what we'll do is we'll just throw a tarp over this uh, and, and, and maybe just over the section where they roost. And uh, that way they can still roost and stay dry. But we'll see. Seven nesting boxes, that's plenty. And uh, we got four chickens left, but uh, Billy ordered ten more. 10 yeah so we have 14 and there them are an assortment of varieties i think they're probably all female but we'll see yeah anyway we're gonna get it Can you see me? Kinda. You can kinda see me. How about that, dog?
No, I ain't doing that. That ain't happening. All right, so a much easier way. So there's the right way, the wrong way, and then there's Mike's way. Hi. Huh? Finally, finally getting something done. All right, so see,
feathers on its neck still, Dad? Does uh. not want to come near us. Really? No, she's the one that we have trouble getting in the coop, too. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully you'll have four. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully these other two don't become free loaders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, I keep doing things like totally backwards, so. All right, so backwards is the way to go, I guess, for me when it comes to siding, huh? Anyway, so uh, I put three nails in uh, each piece, and that's all I'm putting in because inside our stud work is going this way, and it's only one in the middle, one at top, and one at the bottom. So that's it. So watch and learn, or, well, just watch and laugh.
goodness. All right, folks, finally finished after doing the siding upside down, backwards, sideways, and every which way but the right way. We finally got done with it. And, well, the siding's not the best. Well, this will all clean off. It's just dirty. But uh, it's not, like, done professionally because, well, I'm not a professional. But uh, don't tell anybody. Anyway, so, I mean, it's pretty decent. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, we finally got all of the rocks in. And, of course, now the chicken wire does kind of loop down a little on the dirt. As you can see, it's a rock all the way around it. Wire all the way around it. And uh, this is just temporary. And it's just for four chicks that the feeder and water. We're going to put the automatic water in there. And that'll work out perfect. I got it all set up for a water hose and everything. I've done tested it. Uh, it's been a month, two months ago that I tested it, built it, and tested it. But then we've got, well, let's go in here. Billy's all excited about this. She done got the straw in, uh, the fake eggs in there, because these chickens have just started laying. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. And so, like I said, you know, we use scrap mostly. The landscape timbers uh, we had. So just all, all scrap, basically. So let's run back here real quick. Take a look at the feeder. This is the feeder. It's a deer feeder. And one of the automatic deals, you just put a battery in it. Yeah, and so we're gonna drop her down. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this bottom section out right here. And it'll be lower to the ground, be easier to pour feed in there. That will be in the chicken pen. So yeah. Let's see. Oh my, and so, uh, yeah. We do have a automatic door, you know, the little door opens automatically. And I don't know if I'm going to put wood across at the bottom and stick it in this door, which I think will be the easier thing to do. Uh, so, in other words, from from here down will be all wood. I hate to make the door heavy, but uh, I think it'll be fine. And just put something on there, something pressure treated. And then cut the automatic door in here. It's not very big. Yeah. Because it's solar powered, so it, it gets direct sun all day long. Yeah. And so next, uh, so we've got about 14 chickens total. We got 10 babies, four survivors of the onslaught or, the, or of the slaughter. And then we've got, sorry folks, I'm out of breath and it is just so hot. Uh, and then next is some Nigerian dwarfs so this is pretty much finished and once we get the water in there we're going to actually bury a water line all the way over here and put a spigot a spigot in and I might do that this weekend put a spigot in right inside the pen and I'll show you that when it's complete and yeah it'll just be so much easier next is Nigerian dwarfs Hopefully. So I'm not getting those until I build a pen. A little house. And it won't even be this big. But uh, the pen will be bigger than this. I want to make sure I'm 100% ready for them. I'm going to have a, a electric wire running around. You know, a 
shock wire, whatever you call it, electric fencing. Yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, folks, 